It's common knowledge that Tesla is already dominating the auto industry, but what many don't know is that Tesla's got no intention of stopping there. It continues to map out plans for the future with a goal to innovate, expand and dominate the market. Is this interest rates kind of showing that those early adopters for EVs have been and gone and that the everyday person who's confronted with a choice to buy an electric vehicle is saying, not right now. And, uh, you know, broadly, that in line with demand is the question the market's posing right, right. now. But Tesla's still up more than 60% year to day well, when the S&P 500 up 9%, just say. Well, and I was going to say also, um, Tesla doesn't have the same kind of labor issues that, say, Ford, Stellantis, and, um, and GM do because of the UAW and have an increase of worker pay in the same capacity. And as Brooke was talking about at the top of the hour, like, just because it's taking longer to get through a structural shift doesn't mean that structural shift isn't there. Yeah, and, you know, the retail investors, those kind of Tesla diehards, you know, that, her, that are customers and holders of the stock are in full voice on social media right now saying, you know, this is just a two-week period in time, you know, come back to me in a year and see how that looks. Yeah. And ultimately, at earnings, Tesla still reiterated guidance it will, uh, you know, do 1.8 million vehicles this year. It's still the clear market incumbent. It's just that they used price cuts as a lever to unlock pockets of demand. And then Elon Musk really emphasized the rate environment as being the issue. Tesla is not just a car company. It's a vision of the future, a future where electric vehicles are affordable, reliable, and sustainable. A future where clean energy is accessible, abundant, and efficient, and where humans can explore the stars, colonize Mars, and achieve the impossible. But how did Tesla get there? How did it overcome the challenges of the auto industry, the skepticism of the public, and the competition of the rivals? Today, we're going to take you on a journey through Tesla's history, achievements, and ambitions, and we'll show you that Tesla's not just making cars, but it's changing the world. We will also unveil the secrets behind its success, the strategies behind its growth, and the vision it has behind its mission. So buckle up as we get ready to take you on a fascinating ride. Let's dive in. Even though it, it doesn't affect Tesla, um, there's been some other headwinds, uh, mainly related to EV adoption in general, uh, which have really weighed on Tesla. And really, it wasn't a great earnings call that they just had. Um, you know, raising some red flags about the Cybertruck, what the margins on that vehicle might look like, and then the production ramp. So, uh, but we really view the concerns as overblown here. Um, you know, Tesla already had a 35 to 40% labor cost advantage over the Detroit 3. And with this new deal that we expect to be ratified uh, later this month, their, their labor cost advantage is going to widen uh, much, much more than that. So, um, we think uh, Tesla still represents one of the best earnings growth stories in this industry, and uh, we're buyers at these levels. Looking for the future, there are a couple of solid indicators that electric car sales are going to continue to grow and prices will fall. With a dramatic fall in raw material prices and resources, including the prices of lithium, EV prices are expected to continue their downward trend. Further, with manufacturers continuing to invest heavily in electrification, specifically production expansion, per unit costs are expected to fall as well. However, the concern of most investors is if Tesla will have enough demand for its cars and the production of them. What is Tesla's plan for the future? Let's find out. Hey guys, welcome back to Tesla Tomorrow. Tesla is widely regarded as the leader in the EV industry, with its innovative technology, premium brand image, and loyal customer base. However, the automaker is not resting on its laurels, as its ambitious plans to expand its global presence, product portfolio, and production capacity are coming up in the years to come. These plans could give Tesla a significant edge over competition, both new and old, in the fast-growing EV market. Before we carry on though, guys, if you like this type of content, Hit that like button, subscribe and turn on post notifications to keep up to date on everything going on with Tesla. One of Tesla's main expansion plans is to build more factories around the world, especially in regions where EV demand is high or expected to grow rapidly. Tesla already has two operational factories in the US and China and is working on opening more in Germany and Texas by the end of 2023. These factories are going to increase not only Tesla's production output, but also reduce its shipping costs, tariffs, and other environmental impacts. Tesla's factories are designed 
to be highly automated and integrated, with the ability to produce both vehicles and batteries on site, giving the automaker an advantage in terms of efficiency, quality and innovation over its competition, who often rely on third-party suppliers and contractors for their EV components. Another aspect of Tesla's expansion plans is to diversify its product offerings, both within and beyond the automotive sector. Tesla currently sells four models of EVs, the Model S, Model 3, Model X, and Model Y, which cover the sedan, compact, SUV, and crossover segments. Tesla is also planning to launch several new models in the future, like the Cybertruck, the Semi, the Roadster, and the Model 2. These models will target different niches and customer segments, such as the pickup trucking, sports, and budget markets. Additionally, Tesla is expanding into other key areas. Solar panels, battery storage and software services are all key complements to its core EV business and create new revenue streams. According to recent reports, Tesla CEO Elon Musk had at one point in time met with several Samsung electronics executives, including executive chairman Lee Jae Yong. This was the first private meeting between the two executives. The meeting took place at Samsung Semiconductor's US R&D lab and reports claim that the agenda included discussions about future cooperation in autonomous driving and semiconductor production. Samsung's been making strides in the automotive semiconductor market. The tech giant has secured orders from industry leaders like Nvidia and Mobileye, and the recent meetings with Tesla executives could suggest that Samsung is looking to add Tesla to its client list. Samsung and Tesla have a history of collaboration particularly in the development of next-generation IT technology, including semiconductors for autonomous vehicles. Both companies have worked together on the development of chips designed for autonomous driving, and it seems bigger collaborations are on the way. Similarly, Tesla's partnership with battery suppliers in Japan like Panasonic are becoming even stronger. The Tesla supplier had previously planned to start production in volume of 4680 battery cells for Teslas between April 2023 and March 2024, although this will likely be delayed. The company noted that mass production is rescheduled to begin during the first half of the fiscal year ending in March 2025 in order to introduce performance improvements measures that will further enhance competitiveness. We believe that these collaborations are going to make things easier for Tesla and fast-track its goal of manufacturing and selling cheaper EVs at scale. But that's not even the most interesting part. Tesla's expansion plans could pose a serious threat to its competition who are trying to just get a foothold in the EV market. Some of those competitors are established automakers like Ford, GM, Nissan, and Honda, who all have a long history and reputation in the industry, but are also facing challenges in transitioning from traditional to electric vehicles. These competitors may have advantages in terms of scale, distribution, and customer loyalty, but they may also have disadvantages in terms of innovation, cost, and brand perception. Other competitors are emerging. Startups like Neo, Rivian, and Lucid, who are focusing on high-end and niche EV segments, but are also facing challenges in terms of funding, production, and delivery. These competitors may have advantages in terms of technology design and differentiation. But they also have disadvantages in terms of experience, reliability, and profitability. Tesla's expansion plans could give it a decisive edge over its competitors in the EV market as it could leverage its strength in innovation, quality, and brand loyalty while overcoming its weaknesses in scale, distribution, and profitability. These plans could create positive spillover effects for the EV industry as a whole as it could increase customer awareness, demand, and adoption of EVs as well as spur more innovation and competition among EV makers. But above all else, Tesla's expansion plans could ultimately contribute to its vision of accelerating the world's transition to sustainable energy, and that is what we want. But what do you think about these plans? Let us know down below, and for more exciting updates on Tesla, go ahead and click on this next video on your screen, and we'll see you there.